Hi, everybody. How are you doing? I have to come on here real quick and just kind of share with you what's going on. It's been amazing. Um, this is a video that is going to cover the energies currently on the planet. Why are we seeing a lot more darkness or feeling a lot more heavier energies? And what is actually going on? So if you're not of the spiritual energetic world, this video may seem a little bit out there. I'm really sorry, but um, I just have to come on real quick and say this um, to help Sorry, I just realized there's a lot of light on me um, to help those of you who are really in need. Um, sorry for my appearance. I'm doing some yard work and, oh well, it is what it is. So, <clears throat> a lot is going on. Forget about what's going on in the surface of the planet with humanity and how that's playing out. So, um, with in conjunction with um, my clients, and their feedback and what they're seeing because I teach people how to also channel and to um, be, uh, uh, what do you want to call it? Empaths, um, seers, whatever you want to call it. Um, what they saw, what I've been seeing and also what friends of mine that are also in this business and what they're seeing as well. So basically right now, a lot of energy is being lifted from the planet. The third dimensional and fifth dimensional planet have now completely separated. Um, energy, light energy is being sucked from 3D, um, from the 3D world construct. Um, so what exactly does that mean for you? When I saw this and I was talking to my guides and um, to my upper, my higher soul, I was like, why are you pulling the light from 3D? That's going to make 3D even darker than before. And I got, yes, yes, it's, you're no longer going to have um, the light and the dark balance each other out. The light is being removed completely from 3D, and so the dark is going to be even more prevalent. Now, keep in mind, it's the same amount of dark that's been here the whole entire time. We're just going to see more of it. So with the, with the light being, so, and I said, well, why are you pulling the light from the planet? And it said real simple, and this, this one came up several times, and I'm going to bring this up again later on in this talk. And they said, just like us, when we choose to switch our focus from one thing to another, when we choose to switch our focus from one job that we may be currently in, we don't like anymore, we start thinking about we want this other job that we like more, and we think about that more and more, and we start searching for it, we find something we like, and eventually we, you know, find that job, talk to that employer, and, or, you know, that business that which we are desiring to be part of, and then our focus goes more there, that becomes more of our world, and what we don't care for, that shrinks and becomes less of our world. And the reason that becomes less and not so prominent in our world is because our energy is not going there. Right now, all of our energy through the ascension process is going to that of the fifth. Therefore, our focus is no longer on the third, and it's pulling away from the third. That process theoretically may be finished by Monday. Um, it's already 50% plus right now. Um, third and fifth dimensional Earths have completely separated and Earth is um, three dimensional Earth is going to be falling apart more. What does that mean for you and for me, right? Well, really more than ever, it, like I keep saying almost in every single one of my videos, it is very, very, very important for you to keep your focus on the light and higher levels, higher vibrational feelings. You know, screw what the world is saying that there's a lot of crap's going to go down this week on the surface of the planet and continue to do so in the upcoming weeks. Try your best not to pay attention. Try your best just to keep your focus on your five senses, taste, touch, feel, sense, hear, um, you know, get out in nature, feel nature, smell nature, hear nature, um, ground if you can, you know, doing some grounding by putting your feet flat on the ground, breathe, feel the sun on your face, feel the wind in your hair, go back to the elements, get back to the elements, get back to life, what it originally offered us. Okay, so getting back to the elements is really important. Taking naps, meditating, drinking water, getting in the sunlight. Um, all these things will help you replenish um, your new cells because as this energy is being pulled off the planet, it's also being pulled off of us. So that's why all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, I'm so depressed. I'm so just distraught and oh, I'm so overwhelmed. I mean, even this morning, um, I was doing great. I had a great session with the client 
and I'm sorry my neighbor's talking. Um, I had a great session with a client and everything was great. Went outside, started working, and I was really hit with anxiety in my chest. I'm like, I'm not anxiety by taking down Christmas decorations. Are you kidding me? What the heck is this about? And I realized, oh, just being pulled. It's things from the depth being pulled up to the point where I'm now feeling it on the emotional level. So you got to remember, the most dense level is physical level, then comes mental, then comes emotional, then comes etheric, and then comes spiritual. So from the depths of physicality is going to go up to the mental part. And that's why you, we get kind of time we get really, we, that layer gets lifted up to the mental body. And that's why we can kind of get caught up in thoughts and fears and just different things going through our head. And then it's going to go into the emotional body, which is where we're going to feel it more so. And then it's going to get lifted into the etheric and then it's going to be gone. So that's the levels in which it actually basically takes. So again, and the last and final thing that's really, really important to remember, which is pay attention to your focus. You guys have to be so diligent as to where you're placing your focus it is so, so, so important. Um, it is you investing in the world that you want. So just as, you know, when we get that job or my example that I use with my client the other day is, and think about a relationship that you just absolutely loved when you were in it. Go way back to before you were not even involved and you haven't even met that person. And you were just wishing for this wonderful feeling, this wonderful relationship. And all of a sudden you met that person. And even when you're not with that person, you dream about things of engaging and experiencing with that person. And, and you guys go on dates and it becomes more. And basically your focus of being single starts to move over to your focus and being involved with this person. And it gets more and more and more and more in that realm of being with that person to the point where you are completely perhaps married and you're no longer single because that's where your focus is. Your focus follows. The universe follows your focus to support, to create, to how have you experienced, to bring forth to you physicality evidence or reality as other people might say reality is fickle it changes according to your focus so really be diligent as to where you place your focus i'm placing my focus and i'm i'm grounded from surfing i'm grounded from looking at youtube i'm grounded from looking at facebook i'm grounded from it all because i get too sucked in my focus is grounding with the trees the light the air the sun um, getting, you know, going hiking later on, um, you know, going down to the beach, uh, you know, getting my hands tangibly and moving things, meditating on a consistent basis, eating healthy is a really, really smart, intelligent idea. Sugar is not good right now, guys. Stop. Just, just cut sugar out. It really messes with the nervous system and the nervous system is already on fire. Drink so much water that you think you're going to explode. Um, so I hope these things help. This is really important for everyone to hear. Please share, please share, please share. Everyone needs to help, especially in the spiritual communities. Um, so love you very much, guys. Let me know how you are feeling, what you are picking up, what you are sensing. T comment below and um, let me know what you are going to do to get yourself into alignment. Are you going to go out to get, spend in nature? Or are you going to do your meditation? Are you going to take naps? Are you going to pay attention to what you're eating and drink plenty of water? Let me know what you're going to do. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.